Okay, uh, we're looking at question number two now in the June 2010 BY1 paper. Uh, this is a, a question that is dealing with uh, both collagen and hemoglobin. Okay, as well as uh, knowing the general uh, structure of, of proteins and the primary, secondary, tertiary and quotationary uh, structures of proteins, you do need to know uh, the structure of collagen and hemoglobin in detail. Uh, the reason why is that uh, collagen is an example of a uh, fibrous protein and hemoglobin is an example of a uh, globular protein. Okay, uh, so these two proteins make good comparisons uh, with regard to their structure and indeed their function. Okay, because uh, the structure of proteins ultimately dictates the functioning of the protein. So to start off with we've got a, a, a diagram here of a collagen uh, molecule. All right and I'll just uh, scroll down a little bit just to show you that later on um, you have a uh, diagram there of the haemoglobin molecule. All right so the question does start to look at comparisons between haemoglobin uh, and collagen. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the uh, the first few questions. Okay then, so uh, the first question is uh, name the group of proteins to which collagen uh, belongs. Okay, so that's straightforward enough. They are uh, the fibrous uh, proteins. Okay, there we are, fibrous. Um, part two then um, is asking you to describe the structure of a collagen molecule. Uh, now, I've explained what a collagen molecule is uh, in uh, my tight notes. If I, uh, if I just bring up uh, the notes here on uh, collagen, okay. Uh, so I've mentioned that uh, collagen consists of three polypeptide chains, which are hydrogen bonded together. Okay, never forget that, uh, the hydrogen uh, bonded together. Um, it's actually a, tripical, a triple helical structure. Okay, uh, and the uh, molecule or the collagen has a secondary uh, structure. Okay, uh, so that's basically what a collagen molecule is. It's the three uh, polypeptide chains uh, joined together. Each polypeptide chain um, is a helical structure. So there's one helices there, there's another one, and that's the third. Okay, uh, so that's a collagen uh, molecule. Okay, um, the uh, collagen molecule, of course, does actually uh, uh, join together to form a, a fibril. Okay, um, and many fibrils join together to form a collagen fiber. All right, so the diagram that's in the uh, exam paper is uh, of a uh, collagen molecule, as it says uh, in the question there. Okay, um, so describe the structure of the collagen molecule. Okay, I've pretty much done that already. Um, you've got three uh, polypeptide chains. Um, the uh, chains or the polypeptide chains are in the alpha helices structure. Uh, the three chains are tightly bonded together by uh, hydrogen bonds. Okay, and that's a, that's a good description there of a uh, collagen uh, molecule. Okay, so uh, there's my answer. We've got the collagen molecule consists of three polypeptide chains. Each chain uh, has, has an alpha helical structure, and each polypeptide chain is tightly bound together by hydrogen uh, bonds. Uh, and that there should get you uh, the three marks. Okay, a uh, state one function of collagen. Um, obviously, we've said that collagen is a fibrous protein, uh, which means it really has a uh, sort of structural role uh, within uh, organisms, animals. Okay, um, collagen is particularly found in tendons. Okay, because uh, collagen has the ability to withstand a great deal of uh, tensile strength, so it can be pulled a lot without uh, actually breaking and uh, you can actually pull uh, and, and produce great forces on tench on tendons um, and they don't actually break okay uh, so that's the the safest answer to go for there is that they have a structural role 
and give an example that they're actually a component uh, of uh, tendons. Okay, so uh, there's the answer for part three. Uh, moving on then um, to section B, uh, this is where hemoglobin um, has been brought in. So hemoglobin belongs to another group of proteins called globular proteins. The diagram shows a molecule of hemoglobin. Okay, you should also be familiar with uh, the structure of hemoglobin. Um, it's got uh, four uh, polypeptide chains. Okay, it's got uh, two um, beta and two alpha chains. Okay, uh, so there's a total of four polypeptide chains. Okay, uh, two are identical. So the uh, the uh, beta uh, chains are identical and the uh, alpha chains uh, are identical. Um, but uh, unusually now with uh, hemoglobin, there is actually a non-protein component uh, which is represented by uh, that region there. So there's uh, one of those structures in each of the uh, four polypeptide chains, and that's actually the heme group, uh, which is composed of uh, iron. Okay, so uh, I just want to pull up the uh, the notes uh, that I've done for the app and uh, there I have the comparison uh, page for haemoglobin and collagen. Uh, so this is quite an important page to revise uh, and to memorize really. Uh, you need to be able to compare um, the structural differences uh, and the functional differences between haemoglobin and collagen. Uh, so I've actually uh, listed those differences uh, on that page there. Um, so that's what this uh, question is asking you to do now. Uh, describe three uh, differences between collagen and haemoglobin that you can see in the diagrams. Okay, there's actually going to be differences between haemoglobin and collagen that you cannot see uh, in these diagrams. For example, um, collagen uh, sort of has a very limited number of different types of amino acids, whereas uh, haemoglobin has, has quite a diverse range of uh, amino acids but that's not something you can see in the diagram so please uh, you know do what the examiner asks um, he's asking you to look at the diagrams and uh, describe three differences okay uh, so that's pretty straightforward i think for the starters uh, you can say that um, the uh, hemoglobin has four polypeptide chains okay but in collagen it only has three that's one difference that's obvious in the diagrams. Okay, another one, of course, is haemoglobin has the um, heme group, uh, also known as an iron group or a prosthetic group, but collagen uh, doesn't. Um, the other one, of course, is haemoglobin is compact. It's a globular protein, uh, which means it has a compact three-dimensional shape. But collagen uh, is a very long protein, okay, so it's not as... Uh, compact as um, um, haemoglobin. Um, within uh, collagen there's three polypeptide chains as we've mentioned. Uh, those polypeptide chains are identical okay but in haemoglobin um, there's four polypeptide chains but two are identical okay so uh, that's a, another uh, feature that's different between them. And uh, lastly then, the, um, the haemoglobin is in the quaternary structure, okay, because it's got four subgroups or four polypeptide chains that are uh, bonded together. But the uh, collagen is in the uh, secondary structure. Okay, so uh, I've written in uh, my answer here or uh, the differences between haemoglobin and collagen. Um, I've said that uh, collagen has three polypeptide chains, but haemoglobin has four polypeptide chains. So I've made a direct comparison uh, between the two uh, proteins. I've then said collagen has three identical polypeptide chains, but haemoglobin uh, has two pairs of different chains. Uh, so I've mentioned they've got two alpha and uh, two beta. Uh, chains. And lastly, I've said haemoglobin has a heme group, 
but uh, collagen uh, does not. Okay, so uh, obviously uh, there are other differences uh, I could have quoted, but uh, only three the examiner wanted. So there's the three I've chosen. But we'll uh, look at the uh, mark scheme now in a moment um, to look at the other marking points. Uh, lastly, though, uh, name one other example of a globular protein. Okay, uh, so many, many other different types of globular proteins. Uh, hormones would be an example there. Enzymes uh, and even antibodies uh, could be classed as a uh, globular protein. Okay, so there's my answer there, enzymes. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the uh, marking scheme here. It's pretty straightforward. Part A1, fibrous. Uh, there's the uh, features of the collagen molecule. Okay, there's the uh, uh, functions uh, of the collagen molecule. And down here is the uh, differences then uh, between hemoglobin and collagen. All right, and uh, lastly, uh, some examples of um, other globular proteins.